Welcome back folks, another day, another video. No idea what number video it is, no idea what day it is really, but we're still in lockdown, still doing these videos. Thanks for tuning in again. A bit tired today, been watching that um, Tiger King thing on Netflix, I finished it last night. What a weird show that is, have you seen it? I feel really sorry for those poor animals in it, but um, the, the humans in it, crikey, they're a bunch of weird people, eh? Uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It'll, it was just, it'll blow your mind. It's that weird, properly weird. Anyway, back on planet Sling Mountain. Today, uh, I want to look at some more like self rescue kind of skills, but it's not escaping the system part three yet. That is to come. I just want to build up a few of the little bits and pieces, the sort of building blocks that come in towards maybe that next part of that series. So if we look at these in kind of isolation, then we'll bring them back in part three. Part three is coming. It's requiring a bit of thought, that one, though, because it'd be quite complicated to show either inside. I can go outside as well, but it's difficult to show when you're not on a vertical cliff. So my, my mind is still ticking away on that side. Creativity isn't necessarily my strong point, but bear with me. It will hit YouTube at some point soon. So I am on Sling Mountain. I'm going to set myself up just on a regular belay. It doesn't really matter what kind of belay it is, but I'll, I'll use a sling and, and do it sort of uh, in reach. Probably doesn't make any difference to this one though. And we are going to look at hauling. Okay, hauling has been something that a few people have asked about, and it's a really useful skill. Um, partly in emergencies, you know, got to get our, our mate up, and we can't go down because if I can go down, use gravity, I will. All right, so I'll lower someone down. Bringing people up in a hauling system, it's hard work. We don't have loads of fancy pulleys and stuff with us normally. So, you know, you are battling friction, you are battling gravity, and it's a workout, all right? So I don't want to be doing this unless I have to, but sometimes we might have to. It might also be a way of just getting your mate up a hard move or two, right? So not an emergency, just a, right, we're on this big, long multi-pitch and we're going fine, but they're just struggling these couple of moves. Let's just bang them up here and then we'll crack on and they'll be fine on the climbing again. I have done that before, uh, but I'll set it up. So give me a second, uh, enjoy some B-roll thing that I've made up. Who knows what I've done? Uh, it's all going into a blur. So bear with me a second. I'll just set this up. You'll notice the shirt came off. I'd love to tell you this is the first take. This has taken me flipping loads of goes. It's not the actual hauling bit, that's steady away. I've done that enough times. It's trying to rig up a pretend climber using a table and chair and stuff when you've got to have moving parts. That was flipping desperate. Uh, hopefully it'll work this time and we'll, we'll get it bang on, but we'll see how we go. We're back on Sling Mountain. We're all good. My mate's not so good though, because he needs some assistance. What are you going to find out with this? is I'll keep banging on about it. Hauling is quite hard work, whether it's assisted by your mate or unassisted because they're unconscious or something. So make sure you've had your Weetabix for this one. And it will require a bit of practice, ideally with someone on the end of it or something heavy on the end of it. But scenario one, my mate has fallen off that bit of climbing. They can't do that section. They're too tired. It's just too hard, whatever. So they're, they're conscious, you know, not injured. Nothing exciting's happened. They just can't do that bit of climbing. So first off, we need to give ourselves a bit of time to make a quick plan and be hands-free for that as well. First step, as always, is going to be tying off the belay plate. Now, top tip today, shiny rope, skinny rope, person hanging off the end. This rope wants to slide through there. Do your best to not let it do that. So before we do anything else, big strong grip on that to stop anything going through. Any rope that goes through there is rope that you've then got to haul through the system in a minute and it's hard work. So let's minimise that. All right. So slippery hitch. Great. Same as always. Couple of half hitches all around the back bar. Yeah. There we go. Right. Side relief. They're still dangling. What's the next step? I need to do my hoist system. Press it first. Get that. We're going to do a French prussic because it releases under load. It's going to go around the climber's strand of the rope, okay? Give it as many wraps as you think it will need to lock, okay? Get yourself a screw gate, 
clip him in. Check it locks. Yeah, that locks great. How many wraps just depends. You just test it like I just did then. Now something a little bit different to usual. We're going to clip that carabiner into the delay plate carabiner. Works really well in this situation. Go for that little top tip. Sometimes you've got a big carabiner that can work well because it, it can be a bit of a, a squeeze getting it in. But try your best, you'll make it work. Right, so we're hands free, we're tied off and we've put our French press in front of the plate. That's why we tie off around the back of all this lot. So we've got this area free to work in. Makes your life easier. OK, so that has now become a clutch prusik. That will make sense in a minute. Now, remember with this one that my mate is perfectly conscious and they're going to help me help them. OK, so I'm going to lower the rope to them. OK, and that you might put a carabiner on it to help gravity do its thing and lower it down to them. But I'm just going to clip it into this sling here to work for my little system. There you go. Imagine that's got down to my friend. They've clipped it into their belay loop. I've now got a Z shape in the rope. That's what we're after. OK, that's the basis of our pulley system. OK. Next step, just want to double check which one we're pulling on. So as I pull up on this one, the mate's going to pull down on that one, however far down he is. Right. And that's going to give us our assistance from from them. So I can't do anything yet because it's all locked off. So nothing's going to slide through, is it? So that will be my first step. We'll be undoing this slot. So get rid of the half hitch. Good. Grab the whole thing. Get rid of your second half hitch. And then pop it all through. Not letting any slide through because you're only going to make your life harder if you do. OK, there we go. Can encourage that prusik to lock as well. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a, a one, two, three pull kind of thing going on here. So it's like one, two, three pull, one, two, three pull, one, two, three pull. And you can see how that prusik is sliding. That's a good thing. Pull, 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 pull. It slides, it slides, it slides. Good. If we need a rest, push that away. We can't let go of this rope. We can have a little shake. Don't have to grip super tight because the prosex doing its thing it's locking up then we want to go again because maybe it's a bit further so it's one two three pull one two three pull one two three pull you can see how it's slipping through the prosex that's good that's good that's good okay well hopefully that's got us far enough up okay so we can push that away for a second my mate's now probably holding on okay and they're good to go again so that's okay they can take that carabiner off their harness clip it back to them I can just get that rope out of the way. We can just go back to belay normally, but I want to get this out of the way. It's going to be a faff otherwise. Careful not to let this go sliding down the rope to either hit them or get snagged on something or just be a pain. Let's chuck it over my head for a moment and we're good to go again. Just belay as normal. Up he comes. Great. Get a bit of banter for not being able to do that bit of climbing. I could do. That rarely happens. An assisted hoist. They've helped me help them. All right. OK, so next one then is going to be an unassisted hoist. In this example, something a bit more exciting has happened. They've been hit by a rock or whatever. Come up with something exciting like that in your little scenario. And they are unconscious. They can't help you. Now, we're going to press the pause button for just a moment there and say that in actual real life, you might be doing something before this hoisting. You might well need to go down to them to give them some first aid and some assistance that way. As I've said already, we are going to do Escaping the System Part 3. That will be coming to YouTube hopefully this week. But we need to get these kind of building blocks ready before we do that sort of thing. So let's just assume we've been to them. We've given them whatever help they need. And now we're going into the hoisting part. OK, so remember this one. It was an unassisted hoist. Starts off the same, though. What did we say about that? It's gripping that first, actually, isn't it? So let's do it properly. Let's grab that because we don't want to lose any. We definitely don't want to lose any this time because my mate's not helping me. It's purely going to be me, right? So I do not want any extra here. Hard work. Slippery hitch. Half hitch. And one full up. There we go. Half hitch. Hands free. Sigh of relief. Make sure your muscles are ready to go. Next step. Well, that's just the same as the previous one, actually. So let's get that same prusik out. Um, what kind of prusik was it? Hopefully you can remember. 
it was a French because it's going to release under load. So we do as many wraps as we think we need. Test it. OK, so, yep, that's locking up good. It's not locking up, so we're going to do that extra wrap. That's the reality of it is you've just got to test it. Did one less than, so that's why it slipped. OK, what did we do then? We clipped it back to the belay carabiner, so you will have to squeeze it in. There we go. Get him in, do him up. Clutch prusik in. Now the difference this time, okay, is that with all this slack rope that we've got here, we can't lower it down to them. There's no point is they can't do anything with it. They're unconscious. So we're going to replace our mate with a prusik. Sounds a bit mean, doesn't it? Replacing your mate with a prusik cord that cost a few quid. But hey ho, it's the way it goes. Don't need to be holding on to that. So just going to let that dangle. This time though, it's going to be a Clem Heist prusik. So that is plenty of wraps again, and you'll test it in a moment to make sure it locks. But instead of joining the two ends, you're going to put one through the other, pull it like that. That's a Clem Heist. So I'll slide that way. When I pull on that, it will lock and grip onto the rope. That's what we want. You may well be running out of screw gates by this point, okay? So a snap gate might have to do whatever you've got. I've got a screw gate, so I'll use a screw gate do them up because it is a screw gate. Now the reality is at this point you're going to push this prusik as far away from you as possible. You'll see why in a minute. Whether that's with your feet pushing it down, whether it's a nut key, whatever, but something, right? Push it as far away from you as you can. Quick double check. That's doing its thing. That's done. That's all uh, screwed up and everything. Good. I can release the tie-offs. Okay not letting any slip through. Remember, this one is even harder than the first one. Okay, popping out, ping, bring that all through. Make sure that's not, there we go, doing that. So remember, I'm just gonna push that a bit further away now where it would be. Now, that's all locked up. So I'm holding on to it, but I'm not actually holding super tight at the moment. I'm relaxed because I'm saving my arm power. The next step, right, is I'm going to pull on this one. There's no one to help me this time. So I'm watching that this is slipping. This must slip, otherwise you get a build up of slack in the system and that can be a bit sketchy. So as we pull, let's just watch and see that it does what it's supposed to do. Is it slipping through there? Yes, it's slipping. We're winning. Good, 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 good. I said that we've pushed that further away and we absolutely would have done, but you still don't get much mileage from it because as soon as that gets close to that, it's going to jam up and you won't be able to haul anymore. So every now and then what you have to do is encourage that prusik away to lock it up. As you release your grip on that, the clutch prusik will do its thing and you can still hold onto this rope, but you're going to have to let it slide through a bit because you need to reset that one. So I'm going to push it a bit further this time, as far as I can down there. And then we do the same again. Pull, 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 pull. Check this prusik is slipping. As all that hits, you can see that that point, that's when it starts to slip. So that's what we want to happen. And that is what is happening. And you just kind of have to keep going and going and going and keep resetting and resetting and resetting. Before you push it away though, I've lost some slack by doing, some rope by doing that, haven't I? Because I didn't encourage that to lock first. So push that away, then do that bit. Okay, that's the order you want to do it. So that's what we end up with in that setup. Okay, I was only going to show us two methods, but there's a bonus one that I want to cover off. So we're just going to reset here for a moment. So I'll just fast forward this bit. Okay, you're back with me. And what you'll see this time is I've set up my belay in guide mode. So I'm attaching my clovich. My mate is being belayed in guide mode. First scenario then, let's go back to the beginning. They've fallen off. They can't do that section. Okay, same as before. I want them to assist me because i like some help, please. So let's do that. I'm going to tie off the belay plate. Because it's in guide mode, locks itself up, great. All I'm going to do is just back it up with an overhand on the bite. All right, done, simple. No need to tie around, just do that, okay? We don't need that clutch prusik this time. So that's a bonus because this locks itself. The guide plate does that job for me. It's a one-way thing already, great. I don't need any press it down here because my mate's going to help me, aren't they? So I put my carabiner in there. I lower it down to them. They clip it into their belay loop and that gives us our Z shape. There we go. Quicker, isn't it? Keep that out of the way. 
As I pull up on this one, they're going to go pull down on that one towards them. And we'll see if it all slips through here. Can't do it yet though, can I? Because I've got that. So let's just get rid of that first. Take in the slack. There we go. Now all we're watching is that this is doing its thing as it always does. So let's have a go there. Happy days. A bit worried because it's on the table and it slips a bit, which is why I've done so many takes of it. But there we go, it's slipping, it's slipping, it's slipping, it's slipping. Good, it's coming through. We keep taking in one, two, three, pull, one, two, three, pull, one, two, three, pull. If we need a rest, we will at some point have a shake. That's locked itself up. I'm holding this, but because I don't want to let go of it, it's still it's still the breaking strand of rope. It's still going to hold on to it, but I just don't need to be so tight on it. I can relax my grip, shake my arms, and go again. Pull, 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 pull. It's all slipping through. Happy days. We go as far as we need to go, and then we can go back to climbing normally. Okay. Good. Not so good is he's suddenly been hit by a rock. So we're going to change this method. So imagine we're just be laying as normal, coming up. Something really bad's happened. Our rocks, rocks hit them. Very dramatic, isn't it? It could be anything, but uh, suddenly they're unconscious and they need hauling up. Remember, we would go down if possible. We would be doing some first aid at this point, but let's just concentrate on the hauling bit for this video. First step, similar to the other one, isn't it? We're doing that overhand to back it all up. Let go, good. We still don't need the clutch prusik because it's on an ATC guide plate, brilliant. This time, we do need another prusik though, don't we? Because my mate can't help me, so we need to again replace them with a prusik. Handily over my head already. If you remember what kind of prusik it was, it was a Klomheist. Because I can move around a bit more, like a little dancer, uh, we can probably get this down a bit further away from us as well, which is good. So it buys us a bit more pull time each go. All right, checky locks up. Yep, great it is. Next step, screw gate if I've got one. If not, a snapper. Just keep these ropes clear. It's that one, isn't it? So that is now giving me my Z shape. Brilliant. Can't haul quite yet because I've got my little back up in there. So let's get rid of that. Okay. And then all we're going to do is pull, 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 and it's doing its thing. It's going through. Ooh. You can see it's a bit tricky because I'm doing it on the uh, table. Okay, we need to go some more. You spot a deliberate mistake there. It wasn't deliberate, obviously. Haven't done him up. Always check these things, right? I said it could be a snap gate if needs be, so I'm not like super stressed about it, but I'd rather not have made that error. Okay, everything's slipping. I'm watching all of this all the time to check that's gripping and that's slipping. It's gonna be hard work this, so each time you reset this, give yourself a shake, take a minute, stretch out, and go again, okay. This is gonna be quite physical, right? There we go. So, what have we done? We have done four types of hoist really, done two assisted versions, two unassisted versions. And thanks for your patience with like the, the setup because obviously doing it on a table is a bit tricky um, and using my foot to break the other side of the rope and things. So if there was a little slip every now and then, you have to kind of just bear with me on that bit. For practicing purposes, if you can have a spare person, it makes life a lot easier. If there's no weight on the end of this, Things don't slip when they should slip and things don't grip when they should grip. So if you have got a, a wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, whomever, get them involved if you can. Or if not, you know, just something really heavy would be ace to tie it around a big bag of coal or something, depending on what you've got and see what you can do. But you can practice it at home. It's just a bit trickier when you haven't got someone on the end. So if you can get someone leaning, get someone leaning on it. I hope that was a good watch. It's going to build into other videos, like I say, that whole escaping the system part three that I keep going on about. It's going to be referred back to in that. So go away and have a practice and, and see if you can get that lot dialed. It's really good, really good to know. So you, it's useful for just getting your mate past the hard bit or if things are going really quite badly wrong. But remember, I'd much rather be going down with gravity than up against gravity. So at some point there will be a video of other bits that we can do. All right. But that was hauling 101. Thanks very much for watching all that. 
If you've got any questions, as usual, fire away. Find us on Insta and Facebook. You should have liked us and followed us by now, so get on it if you haven't already. It's all really helpful for me. Click the subscribe button. Click the like button. More videos coming up very soon.